Come on, man. Where you at? Texas. We're supposed to we're supposed to film the buddy cop skit today. Why are you in Texas? Yeah, of course I know what Sunday is. Sunday's the 16th. That is one year since I was your best man and gave that awesome speech. Well, I mean, technically, I guess it's also your wedding anniversary. Well, how am I supposed to do a buddy comedy with no buddy? You don't know me. See the commissioner? Well, as you know, your partner's undercover. Yeah, I just got off the phone with him. So, I'm assigning you a new partner. What? You've been playing this game fast and loose for three years. Loose? Your formations are all wrong and you're missing lethal. What does that even mean? It means you're getting another partner. But, Captain, I'm a lone wolf. You already have a partner. Oh yeah, him. Anyways, the transfer name is Miss Marvel. She only costs two? Budget cuts. Uh, well, these county scores aren't bad. Three attack, three defense. And she has two wounds. The girl can take a hit. While Miss Marvel's in combat, she may discard a supporting character as though it was an anytime combat? If she does, her attack and defense become equal to for that character's for the combat? Hey guys, it's John. Hope you guys enjoyed the little video we put together to slowly reveal the support character Miss Marvel. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to watch it and you just skipped ahead to get an overview of the card, let's do a quick recap of what we covered in the video first. Miss um, Marvel's a two cost. She's a three, three, two wounds, which is pretty decent stats. Um, her ability is when Miss Marvel is in combat, you may discard a supporting character as though it were an anytime combat plot twist. If you do, her base attack and defense become equal to that character's this combat. So that's pretty cool ability. Like when I first got the Miss Marvel card, I decided to go ahead and like go back and look her up and make sure like how she started and stuff like that. And it's pretty neat because like her the first I'm guessing like I think it was like three people she saved. She like took on the identity of the original Miss Marvel, like in her classic outfit. And so like that ability is like super flavorful that like when she's going out there to fight, she's becoming another character. I thought, I, I personally thought that was really cool. Cause like, we, like we stressed with some of our other videos, like this game has a ton of flavor in it. And like, this is like the perfect example of a card having good flavor but also having just like an amazing ability, right? Because obviously on turn two, if you're just card to Fing Fang Foom, there's nothing on the board that's gonna be able to rumble with your 14-14. It's just not gonna happen. Other cards worth noting to discard to her are Thanos support character, Adam Warlock support character, uh, Deadpool's actually kind of cool. Um, you only get, I think it's only one defense, if I remember right. Um, but you can the next turn pay a green and get a free character on the board so that's pretty cool um, Mr. Hyde's really good because he's a 10-10 just don't discard that monstro because you're gonna become a 0-0 and stun yourself uh, so now that we're done talking about like who's good to discard to her let's get more of a payoff for discarding right so you've got Deathlock from the Defenders just go ahead and pay a green and make him as big as she was. Um, you have Brother Dylan, and you can make your MC as big as whoever you discarded. I thought that'd be really sweet with either an X-Men, so that you can, like, X-Factor, or the Dragon, so that you can pay a green and re-ready. And just, like, 
you're getting like just savage attacks there because that's three like so it, for instance if you discard fing fang foom and then use the brother dylan into the dragon combo you're getting four oh, i'm sorry three attacks with a 14 14. other mmcs that i think she could go pretty well with would be the phoenix mc because if you start getting close to leveling you can uh attack and then her ability isn't once per combat so you can discard like three characters so that you've hit that threshold so the next character that comes into play is going to level you up also with that being said with the multiple uses per attack even the odds is like a one for one trade for her because she can swing in power up they'll even the odds and then you can just like power her back up again i use power up not in the plus one plus one counter sense but as the changing her stats ability uh the final MC that I was thinking, oh, that would be kind of cool to do, is the She-Hulk MC, because you get to search for two characters at level three with the same team affiliation, so you can go find, like, your late game, th two Thanos, you can play one, and then use the other one to pump her up, the same being said for, like, Fing Fing Foom, Ghost Rider, um, actually, with Ghost Rider being said, if you're discarding for her a bunch of good characters throughout the game, Ghost Rider comes into play and just is probably going to just kill something so um those were like the main like highlight cards that i wanted to cover with you guys uh if you guys think of any like sweet interactions with her let me know down below and also let me know what you guys thought about the video did you guys enjoy having the fun little skit at the beginning to kind of have fun with the reveal or would you just want to get right into the meat and potatoes and talk about knocking out her stats, and then just talking about the synergies. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.